Hi YouTube world, welcome back to my channel. It is morning and I'm sleepy still and I figured, you know what, this is a nice time to film my empties. So I have still a huge bag that I'm going through, kind of just wanting to discuss the products I've actually used up. I think that is so important. I've said that before. It certainly is a big distinction between first impression and whoa, you used all of that and this is your opinion. I value that. And for me, a lot of products, and here I have my little peanut joining me. I may have one impression of them at first, but then over time I realized they just don't work for me and vice versa. I. I fell asleep with wet hair, so that, that's what's happening. So speaking of hair, why don't we start off with hair items that I finished. Now this one I realized I hadn't yet talked about and I should talk about, but I want to talk about more in depth and that is the Curl Smith Ultimate Lengths 30 Day Therapy. This one here. These are vitamins. It has a lot of great things in it and I have actually noticed a difference. This is actually my sixth box going through this. And I've noticed a huge difference in all the hairs that are now growing along my hairline there. I just have noticed hair growth. Well, you know, it has keratin and biotin, and I know there are a lot of other vitamin companies and uh, that offer the same type of nutrition that could like increase hair growth and nail strengthening, but I actually just have found this one also to be good uh, for my stomach. I sometimes vitamins don't sit very well, like I have issue digesting them, and I have had no issue digesting these. Another Curlsmith product that I liked but I didn't love was the Curlsmith Wash and Scrub Detox Probiotic. This is their uh, shampoo. It's it's one of their many shampoos. It has some little scrubby elements, but the reason I didn't like it was I just didn't feel like it had enough of a scrub to it, though the smell of it was delicious. It smelled very much like like this um, cucumber floral scent that they used to carry at Victoria's Secret a long time ago. And I don't know, it brought back memories. Dry Bar Detox Dry Shampoo, talked about this. This one is in Bubbles and Berries. I love this, I go through them. I use any scent except for the original scent and it's my favorite dry shampoo. Here's another one, the Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind, Banana and Coconut Nourishing Superfood Shampoo. This is one of those products where when I initially started using it, I thought I liked it, I thought I liked the scent, and as I used it more and more, I realized I really didn't like this. I didn't even care for the scent that much, and, and, and I don't think it did anything for my hair. I got a little sample of the Amica Flash. This is an instant shine mask. It's like a conditioner, but it doesn't have the same texture as a conditioner. It's like very watery. I actually already repurchased the full size of that, and. The reason being is I love the volume it gives my hair and also the the shine and it's a it's a real cool product and I I'm enjoying it so because of that sample I actually purchased a full size the way hair care wave spray this was a little mini I really didn't like this I hated the scent which is weird because I feel like Way does such a good job with scents, but this one, I hated the scent. I couldn't get past the scent to happily use the product. I did use the product and I can't even remember what I thought about the product because I despise the scent that much. And here's another little mini that I used up, the Amica Soul Food Nourishing Mask. I love this. This is a great, great hair mask. I It took everything in me not to purchase the large size of this at the Sephora sale, but I know that Amika has better sales than Sephora does on their products. So I'm holding out to buy it and I'm just kind of getting through a lot of the stock I have. I love Schmidt's Sensitive Skin Formula Deodorant. This is an all natural deodorant. I know people are 
you know, some people are all for and all natural, others call BS, it's not true. For me, I, I'm erring on the side of caution and just trying to remove more stuff that I put on my skin that may not be good for me. And I felt like deodorant could be an easy one. As it turns out, it wasn't that easy. I have been on natural deodorant, I wanna say for almost seven years now. I have gone through dozens, dozens of natural deodorants. And if that's something that interests you, I'm happy to go through that journey and talk about every single one I tried. Time over time though, I've realized baking soda free deodorants are important because I, when I perspire, my sweat will cause with that baking soda irritation on my skin, so I'll get rashes. So I love that Schmitz has a sensitive formula that is baking soda free. I love that in their sensitive formula range, they have so many fragrances. And this one, Sage and Vetiver, is sort of like a very earthy unisex scent. I equate the scent to the scent that you would get when you walked into like the Whole Foods, the whole body section, or when you enter like a health food, like a mom and pop health food store, and you're smelling like, I don't know, like hemp and and all this, all this, all these aromas, it just very much reminds me of like a really clean like yoga center. I go to a yoga ashram and it smells like this. So there's an essence to it that is very sentimental for me. Though it isn't my favorite, favorite scent. If I were to pick Schmidt's scents, I love their Earl Grey. I love their the lavender tips is delicious. Uh, the coconut pineapple is great. So there's wonderful scent. The body washes from the body shop, the almond and um, almond milk and honey for sensitive dry skin. This one was really nice. If you like a soft scent, it's it was great. And um, I'm not really into body washes, but it was a nice one. And then this one was the Satsuma which is an orange and it was bright and refreshing. And again, not my favorite thing on the planet of body gel, but you know, if it's your thing and you like oranges, you might really, really like that one. So here are some makeup items. Mascaras, I have Roller Lash by Benefit. This is in the brown color. I like this, but I did not like it as much as I like the black one. So not sure what was with the formulation there. Nabla Major Pleasures Mascara. This is a beautiful, beautiful packaging, super heavy, but not my favorite formula at all. I thought it was very messy and um, I just didn't enjoy it. A small Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This was a mess on me. Uh, it went kind of everywhere, traveled all day long. I didn't care for it. And the Glossier Lash Slick Mascara, this one did nothing. Like really, really did so, so little. I felt sort of silly putting it on every day. Then I have two Clarins. One is the Wonder Perfect Mascara, a little mini 4D and the Mascara Super Volume. Of the two, I prefer the Super Volume. It was very nice. It was very black. It worked well, but for the price point, would I go for it? There are drugstore mascaras that are much better than, than this. So here we have a True Cream Aqua Bomb Belief. I really like this water gel based hydrator. It's a great hydrator. It's really affordable for, for the quality, I think. It's just, it's great. And in fact, I wanna say that they just came out with one that has vitamin C and I'm super curious about that one. This is another great one. This is the Clarins Extra Firming Mask. This one here, purple. This is an expensive product, but I actually saw a difference in my skin and I was very, very shocked. You'll see, I'll have lots of Clarins items because I did that whole Clarins series. And if you haven't checked that out, 
Please do. I worked really, really hard on it. My skin worked really, really hard on it. Here are some other Clarins ones, extra firming Jour cream. I did not like these. They didn't get along. They didn't get along with my skin. My skin didn't get along with them. So um, I had two of those. I did use them though, but they were not for me. The Fresh Sugar Strawberry Exfoliating Wash. I really like this. I love the scent. I liked that it was in a like sort of a gel based formula. It felt very cleansing. The little beads didn't feel that abrasive on my skin. I felt like it was just enough exfoliation. I do really like this, but it's just hard for me to justify buying something like this when I have so many powder exfoliants that work well with any cleanser. So to have a dedicated product for just exfoliating, it's tough for me to wrap my head around. So for that reason, I haven't purchased it, but I miss it and it's really, it's a pleasurable experience, especially if you like sweet things, it's nice. And speaking of great physical exfoliants, this by Philosophy, this is a two-step system. It's called the Micro Peel Vitamin C Peptide Resurfacing Crystals. So you put this on your skin first, which is a scrub, and it's a very, very thick, scrub and then you put this activator on it and it gets like foamy and you let it sit for a minute or two not very long and then you wash it off your face and your face looks like it's gone through dermabrasion it's it's that it's very very effective very effective and i would highly recommend it it is very expensive but the way you want to think about it is use it as a monthly treatment. If you use it as a monthly treatment, then I think it's worth the the price tag. If you use it too frequently, then I, I actually think that might be quite damaging on your skin, but I just feel like it really declogs everything, resurfaces immediately, immediately. This is an immediate reaction that your skin would have. And I have pretty sensitive skin and I get along with that product, so. Another uh, couple of scrubs that I see by Clarins, the Comfort Scrub. This is a scrub in oil, and this is their Fresh Scrub, which is um, uh, like a creamy cleanser scrub. Both of these are lovely. I prefer the oil one. The Fresh Scrub is very nice too, though. I don't think you can go wrong with either, and neither is too harsh on your skin. So, I found another mascara, Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. This is one of my favorite mascaras. I have backups of it. It is a great mascara for people with super straight lashes that point down like mine. And let, what you're looking for is something to hold the curl and just like coat your lashes properly. And this I feel doesn't travel or, or migrate weirdly or anything. I really, really enjoy this mascara. Some lip products that I have. Um, this is a combination of slightly maybe decluttering some products that aged a little bit too quickly. And um, so I have two Kiko 3D Hydra lip glosses in the number 29, which is this dark purple, and the number two, these here. I use them, I enjoy them. I actually think they're really, really nice glosses if you come across them. They're not like too sticky, they're really impactful. They have nice shades, like this purple one is, it's not as purple as you think. On the lips, it's actually really, really pretty. And this one is sort of like a champagne, but it's more clear, it's like a very good, clear everyday gloss. That's their prime, unfortunately. And that's what happens when you just have too much. So that's that. And Peanut, what do you think? I also had this It Cosmetics, a Pure Joy Vitality Lip Flush. I used to love this lipstick. It's an odd color. It's not an odd color, I, I should say, but it's sort of a metallic rosy shade. It's really pretty on the lips. The problem is, the formula changed on me. It's so rough now. It's almost like you can feel every single little bit in it and it does have like some shimmer bits. 
So that's just not not for me any longer. Finished up a sugar advanced therapy. Uh, I think this is great though. These tubes and fresh, and I've said this before, they're not the best. They're just not the best because they can melt real easily. So if you keep them in your house and you're doing it for like a night treatment, it's fine. But don't put this in your purse. I, I can't tell you how many times these this comes right off. If you're using a colored one, it goes everywhere. It's just not worth the hassle. I wish they would make their products a little firmer. I do love their pots though, the advanced therapy hydrating pots. And that is in a project pan now, the coconut one for me and I love it. And then this is the EOS calming, cooling, cooling chamomile. I love this. I used it up as part of project pan. It's totally gone. The best scent, it's sort of like a minty, minty, herbally scent, and I, I loved it. This is the third one I go through. It's hard for me to locate this exact kind of EOS balm, and I don't tend to like others in the range. And the last lipstick item that I have is a P. Louise lipstick in the shade Heights. And this lipstick, it's gonna look pretty on my the back of my hand, but it is very, very white-based. Um, very nice packaging though. It's a bullet with magnetic closure. I see I have two baggies of, this is the Deleon Premium Cosmetic Cotton Rounds. Now, I don't tend to use a lot of rounds, but there is a product that I do like to use disposable rounds with and that is the Biologique Recherche P50 Lotion 1970. I don't even know what it's called. Anyway, it's such an expensive product and the terry cloth rounds, they absorb too much. So I went on a spa's website that uses this product and they recommended these type of rounds. These are the ones that a facialist would use on you when using that type of product and it felt like it made such a huge difference. I wasn't overusing the product, I was using just enough. And these rounds have a very interesting texture. They have like a, a mesh overlay and they're not very thick, but they just take in enough product so that you can really feel it working and absorbs just enough. Another bag of sort of cotton round. It's not that I don't love these facial cottons by um, Shiseido, but now that I have purchased the Terry rounds and I wash them, I don't think I'm gonna need these any longer, but I do like these. I, they're very soft and I still have a few of them left where I keep them. Here are a few more makeup items that really pass their prime or I really didn't get along with or I actually use up, so a combination of things. This is the Daniel Sadler Watercolor Liquid Blush in Rose Gold, this one here. This is very, very pretty. The problem with it is, well, number one, a little goes a very long way and I used maybe 20% of it. And now as I shake it, it's just become much more oily and it just sort of slips everywhere. So I do think it's way past its prime. I mean, it has a six month shelf life. And honestly, unless you are using this exclusively or are a makeup artist, there's no way you're getting through this in six months. And I do see that the integrity of the product does change. Unfortunately, it is a very, very pretty product. So I understand the hype. I just caution that before you make an investment like that in that product, that you don't have a lot of product already in your arsenal or you are a makeup artist and you're gonna be using it on different people because it's just such a waste. Um, this one, gosh, I think I used more than two thirds of this, but it's uh, finally changed textures. This is the Smashbox uh, Photo Finish Foundation Primer, the Pore Minimizing Primer. This one I use just to fill in, you know, larger pore areas and then do my makeup you need the tiniest amount i do like it it's like the benefit professional but i find it to be less a silicone -y, a little more stay in place so i think i like the texture more of this one but i don't ever need a full size of it and 
this was perfectly fine and I enjoyed it and I would repurchase it, but I have right now a couple of others that I'm using. Um, my Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. This primer is awesome This it, for dry skin. It's just such a beautiful hydrator. Sits under makeup really, really well. I actually already purchased a full size of it. I, I adore it and it's great, especially for spring and summer months. I have a couple of concealers that didn't quite work out for me. I have these three. So the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, I got mine in the number, or in light peach. I hated this. It made me look 10 years older. It, it was just terrible on my skin. Then I have the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. I thought I really liked this, and then as I used it more and more, maybe just the product was turning, because I did use quite a lot of this. I just started to notice, and it could be just because my skin tone has changed over the course of this year. I become paler and paler and paler because I haven't seen the sun. The color is totally off and the formula doesn't even sit as well. And then this is the e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer. This is one of those click click pens. And again, this color for me is off. This was light 26N. I actually did like the texture of this product. I thought it was very, very nice, but just the color was off for me. Eyebrow that I finished the e.l.f. Brow Pencil in Neutral Brown. This one here, great pencil, super easy to use, super affordable. The ColourPop in the Clear Face and Eye Gloss. No, I don't know why I keep buying this stuff because it does not work for me. So this is just an absolute clear, clear, clear gloss. And you could put it on your high points or your eyelids. But if you do, your eyelids are just gonna stick together and like the lid is gonna stick to the top. And yeah, it's just, it's just not a product for me. I don't know what I was thinking. I knew that was gonna happen and yet I still, still continue to buy gloss, glosses for the eyes. Even though I have yet to find one where my eyelid does not stick to the top of my eye and then I can't close my eye. This is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip in Holiday Spritz. I use this all up. There's nothing left. There's nothing left. I scooped it out because if you didn't see my project pan, I went off on this. This is a terrible component. It should push the product much further up than it does and then it requires you to scoop it out and it's just such a waste. It's a nice product, but it's not my favorite. It's, it's a little too thick for me. The color was very nice but it's just a little too thick for what I like day to day to wear on my lips, like as an easy lip. This is a little Nude Sticks Mini Nudies All Over Face Color in Sweet Peach Peony. I used up quite a bit of this. I have now realized that my skin does not get along with Nude Sticks color products on my cheeks. After 40 minutes of wear, it totally disappears. And I don't know what that's about, my skin just like spits out the product. I don't, I don't know. I have the Anastasia Dip Brow in Taupe. This one here, it's so dried out. Mine is so old. And truthfully, it is not a product I care for. When I do my eyebrows, I much prefer using eyebrow powder, pencil, pen, or just a, a like a eyebrow mascara. Do some Drunk Elephant Minis. I love a lot of Drunk Elephant products, but there are a lot that I I take issue with. This is the Su LTLC Sukari Baby, Baby Facial. This is like an instant resurfacing mask. I have two of them. They're, they're, this is very, very potent. Be very, very careful if you use a product like this. You really want to avoid using retinol. This is a product that just requires a lot of thinking. It has 25% AHA and 2% BHA, and you just wanna be careful. 
you just want to be careful and that you smartly integrate this into your regimen because you can easily create a chemical burn on your skin but it is a very effective product and it is a good product the virgin marula luxury facial oil this one here i have it in different sizes this is my favorite marula oil of all of them i do not think the ordinary's version is is anywhere as good as this i just I feel it on my skin. I notice the difference. Now, it's not my favorite oil at all. So that's why I only have them in minis. Sometimes they come with a different product. It is a beautiful product. But again, I, I have other favorite oils, but of all the Marula oils I've tried, I find that Drunk Elephants is the best. The C Firma Day Serum, this is the 15% L-Asorbic Acid. This is my favorite vitamin C that I have found the most effective vitamin C for me. But now I just kind of get minis and I have been trying other brands. So I haven't purchased a larger container. My problem with purchasing a larger container from Drunk Elephant is that for some reason, if you buy the really the normal size one, the one that's $88, even if you use it every day, I have found that it turns more quickly than I can use it. So what I do like, or what I prefer, is to buy the half size one when it's available in a kit, because that I can use without it turning. I wish that Drunk Elephant would sell the half size, even if they charge a little more, because I would buy that in a heartbeat, use it up, and just purchase it when I'm about to use it because that's part of it too. It's, so it's shelf life is very unstable, but that's just the nature of a really good vitamin C. The Umbra Tint Physical Daily Defense Broad Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 30. This is a 20% zinc. I hated this. This was terrible. This just sat on my skin. It, it was terrible under makeup. It didn't, they're better physical sunscreens than this. I just really didn't care for it. And then I also have the C Tango multivitamin eye cream and this one I used up. It's a very nice eye cream. I don't know if it's the best eye cream. I didn't really notice a difference. It was fine. It was a fine hydrator, not too greasy, not too thick, not too thin. I didn't really see that much of a difference. So maybe that's my answer. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I will certainly try to do these on a monthly or every other month basis because I love sharing my thoughts with you on what worked out for me to either help you or prevent you, I guess, from making some mistakes. Or also, I'd love to hear from you. If, if maybe you feel differently about a product that didn't work out for you, we all have different skin, hair types, preferred methodologies of application, whatever it is, and a combination of all of those makes for some lively discussion sometimes. So uh, please share down below any other thoughts you may have had and we will check in soon. Okay, take care everyone. Bye.